law enforcement around the country have been on the news for countless events. These issues that have been following it have been from racial to profiling issues. You would think that the year 2016, we as Americans would be over these issues and we'd be abiding by the law instead of trying to fight it. Fight it. Um, it's hard for me to hear all the slander and violence against the uh, police officers in our nation because growing up, my dad was a police officer and still currently is here in Bowling Green. I remember being a child and when my dad was getting ready in the morning, dragging his big bulletproof vest over to him and handing him his badge. Growing up, I thought my dad had the coolest job ever and going to school and having my classmates like know what my dad did and taking the bad guys to jail, they looked at him as a hero and so did I to him and his colleagues. And I like growing up and really realizing what my dad does and even him putting his life on the line for us daily is he is still a hero to me. And so again, hearing all these awful words and comments about the law enforcement around the country is very hard for me to hear. And I feel like um, something that would help solve these problems would be police officers wearing body cameras. These body cameras can be about the um, size of your palm to the end of your fingertips. And the bigger ones are worn on the chest and the smaller ones can be worn on um, officer sunglasses, the collars of their shirts, and their hats. They have 12 hours of life, and they have high quality and night quality, so they have night vision, where when police are on calls at night, they can see at night as well as the day. And police officers do have cameras in their car, but the problem with this is, is when they're away from their car and on calls, they just can't see what's going on, and this has obviously been a big problem in our nation. Some researchers at the University of South Florida decided to take it among themselves and do a project and some research that lasted a year on their local Orlando Police Department. They had 46 officers wear um, body cameras and 43 who did not. <coughs> 53, or there was a, they found within the year that there was a 53% drop in force incidents and a 65% drop in complaints against officers as well as many others. And with this research that they did find is a great thing and it's something that would help officers in our nation. Um, it helped make civilians, um, when they have got pulled over in traffic stops, easier for them. And it made officers' jobs a lot easier as well. Um, and a question that comes up is like, why do officers really need these? And um, again, on the news, you'll see that uh, the big problem is, is the officers need more training with their guns and that you know they kind of have a fear of pulling the trigger for getting in trouble themselves. Um, in the Huffington Post, there was a story in Texas of the officer who got on a call. He went up um, to this house that had a dog, and the dog came at the officer very aggressively, and so the officer had to pull out his gun and shoot the animal, which resulted in death for the dog. And um, when the owner found out about this, they were very upset and devastated, and. It went on so long and became such a big deal that they took the officer in the department to court because the officer had no proof that the animal was coming at him aggressively and the officer was away from his car which had video footage in his vehicle and since he was away from his vehicle there was no evidence to help prove that. So the officer ended up losing his job over this and a similar story in Idaho happened but at the time the officer was wearing a body camera and he got on a call again that was out in the county and when he went up to his house uh, another aggressive dog came after him as well and so he had to take out his gun and shoot the animal to help protect himself from this aggressive dog and again the dog resulted in death and the owner was very upset about it and um when they went to the department they pulled the officer's video camera and there was evidence of the animal coming after the police officer aggressively and so this is a great example how this could help officers with not just animals but with people in other situations as well. And so obviously it does have good research backing it up and does have a good reason of why officers do need them. And another big problem is who will be paying for this. Um, a lot of departments um, cannot get funding from the state or the government for these. And these body cameras can range between a hundred and a thousand dollars. And since the state and government is not helping some of these departments around the country um, buy them, the departments are taking it among themselves to use the, half the money from tickets, traffic stops, um, fines, and citations to help fund these. And so these body cameras help provide evidence and help uh, with issues from cases and missing evidence. And um, the BG Daily News has also said that Bowling Green Police Department is going to start getting these body cameras at the end of July, which is, which is something great for our community and our police department.